Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about parse files. Parse files lets you save your application files to the cloud so it's secure and scalable and can be delivered all over the globe very fastly and can be either consumed by your cloud code or your application code and it's very used, easy to use. So to illustrate that here I have my dogs and Allianz application with my dog class, I'm going to add a new column in here, choose the date type file, give it a good name. By the way, I'm saving images here, but you can save any kind of binary file in there. So add a column. Here I have my picture as a file, and I'm going to upload a few pictures in here. I'm going to use the dashboard, but you can also upload using cloud code or uh, application code very easy using our SDKs. So here I'm going to upload a few pictures in there. There you go. So if I quickly refresh this to upload my schema, I can now come to API console and here on the rest console, I can type classes slash dog and send query. Here I have all my dogs and here are the pictures. It's a file type pointer. Here you have the name of the picture. It's the name that the picture uses to be stored in the cloud and a URL where you can choose to retrieve the picture and display whatever you want. So here in GraphQL, you can also write a new query, choose dogs. Here you get the edges and for every node, I'm going to print the name of the dog and the picture of the dog. But picture also has a few properties as you just saw. You can either have the name or the URL for the picture. If I run this, you have the dog one. Here is the, fail, the file name that you, that's being used to store it in the cloud and a full URL that you can use to retrieve that file. You can also use uh, application code to retrieve this. So to illustrate that, uh, here I have my, a Node.js application where I just instantiated uh, my application ID and my uh, JavaScript key pointed to the back for app servers and here I have a empty async function that I'm going to write uh, code to retrieve that, uh, that, that those files. So const query equals new parse query and this is going to point to the doc class and let results equals await query dot find. So once I get those results, I'm going to loop through those results. So for let i equals zero, i smaller than results length, i plus plus. I'm going to associate this uh, results to a new object. So let this object equals results i. And I'm going to console log the dog's name for now. So console log this object dot get name. So if I run this, here we have dog one, dog two, dog three. And now I'm also going to log the picture. I'm going to JSON string phi this object dot get picture and as I run this here we have for dog one you have the file name in there and the URL here so we can use this URL to retrieve uh, the files and use it inside your applications and last but not least depending on the plans that you use in back for app we can also add a CDN to deliver this uh, files for you from the nearest data center that we have that are, are closer to your end customer. So we can accelerate uh, the delivery of those files to your end customer and get it almost instantaneously, whatever they want. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please just let me know in the comments below and see you on the next video. Bye bye.